These guys built the world's biggest treehouse with its own pool in just 100 days. But how did they do it? It all starts with picking the perfect tree to start the creation of the treehouse. The end result is genuinely mind-blowing, but there's 100 days of work to get there. Look at this. Everything is being sourced using primitive tools, using natural building materials and resources from the forest. The rivers, bamboos, and already these guys are getting to work. Look at that. He's climbing the tree. What? Look at him go. I couldn't climb that tree if I had a million years to try and get up there. First steps first, though, is for people like me that aren't as good as climbing as him, we're going to need some stairs. Or in this case, some little bits of bamboo that we can climb up to get to the tippity top of that tree. And obviously... We can't have a treehouse with a load of branches. And we're going to need to build a pool. And a slide. There's so much to do, but one step at a time already. It is looking so good. Uh, now, you may be thinking, how are they going to get all of these treehouse materials up there? They're just going to have to carry them up. These guys are actual beasts. Look at them go. Every single bit of material will need to be taken up there. They've got to carefully balance themselves on the tree. But the most important part, the foundation is starting to come together. Using very, very sturdy, one of nature's strongest natural resources, bamboo, to create a foundation. And tying it together with even more natural resources. Look at this. Oh my gosh. I'd be scared being up that high. But it is looking so good already. And it is time to build out the treehouse. A treehouse can't just be one flat floor at the bottom. It's going to need roofs. It's going to need windows. It's going to need walls. As we can see, everything's starting to be tied together. That is being created. These guys do not mess around. 100 days is a long time. But if they weren't focused... And if they weren't disciplined, and if they didn't have a plan of action, it would take even longer. And I bet you they're going to go up and down this tree thousands of times to complete this. Currently, I'm seeing an issue. They have to climb onto one of the branches and then over the floor to get into the treehouse. Surely it won't stay like that. Maybe they'll cut a hole out in the floor. Or make it a little bit more easily accessible. The roof is going on already. Did you see that? A bit, a bit of bamboo came up. He's like, no, no, no. Don't need it that high, mate. Back down again. Back down again. It's already looking so cool. Uh, if you're walking through a rainforest and looked up and just saw that, one of the world's tallest tree houses chilling there, you would be impressed and it's not even finished. Oh my gosh. All of the top of the tree is gone now. They have chopped it all down. And look at that. It's looking so different already. Maybe that will be the way that you have to get up there. You have to climb on the log on the outside to get up. Now, a roof needs to be waterproof. It may be hot and sunny some days, but it's going to be pouring with rain the other days. And although we've got a slide on the way, we need to focus on making sure that the actual treehouse itself is covered properly. It's safe and it's not going to get filled with water because that wouldn't be good at all. Wow, they constructed all of these themselves? That's incredible. Taking leaves and attaching them, they've created like giant roof brushes that they can then place on the top. Dude, I'm... Look, it looks super sketchy climbing up that way. And the whole tree's wobbling. Just saying, I'm not going to go up there until it's been tried and tested a few times. I'm not too keen on heights, but these guys, they're a lot braver than I am. The roof is going on, and it is starting to look good. Uh, doesn't matter what the weather's going to be now. We're going to have some protection, and we are going to be chilling. Ooh, that's one of the nicest looking tree houses I have ever seen. Oh, I've noticed, actually, an attachment there between the lower and upper branch that they're using to climb. So even if you're putting a lot of pressure on that bottom branch, it shouldn't break. Fingers crossed. Now, we are getting some huge branches along, along the bottom here. Even more chopping up and massive amount of materials. What are these guys building next? What What is their next plan of action? Now that the treehouse is honestly looking pretty good so far. Oh, they're creating like 
a wood mill. A place where they can go ahead and easily chop. Whoa! Oh my gosh. These guys definitely know what they're doing. And I dare say have done something like this before. And look at that. A perfectly cut out slab of wood. Is this going to be part of the pool or maybe part of the slide? Because don't forget, although the treehouse is really, really tall, you're not going to have to climb your way down. Once you get up, they're going to be working on a way to slide down, which is going to be a lot cooler. Look at those slabs of wood, perfectly cut out, ready for whatever their next plan of action is. Don't tell me that they're taking it up. Oh my gosh. Look at them go up. These guys are absolute beasts. Oh, it's the outer walls of the house. They were like, now nah, we're not done here, look. We're going to put proper walls up. We're going to make sure that this thing is well and truly protected. Look at that. Oh, my. Guys, give it a thumbs up if you are super impressed already. It just shows how talented they are. One thumbs up equals one support. These are incredible primitive builders. It's looking amazing so far. I don't believe it. They're even adding in windows, door frames... A little balcony. I kind of, and I don't like kites, but I kind of want to spend a night up there just to say that I have slept in this incredibly tall, incredibly well-built treehouse. Up next, it almost looks like candles here. We've got some leaves. Even more pieces to go inside the treehouse. These guys, they don't just want it to look cool. They want it to be functional. Oh my, okay, look, guys, please, please be careful with the fire. I love it. These guys are getting a well-deserved break. Water, fresh fruit, fueling up, and some warmth and light from the fire. These guys are only just beginning. They know they've got more work to come. It's time to spend a night in their building. And look at that. They're fine. And they are ready to crack on with the next mission. Now, we have seen many cool underground pool builds here on the channel. The treehouse is in a good place. And now it's time for the pool. Now, what's their plan going to be for this pool? It's already looking incredible. The amount of time it takes to dig out even that much space is not easy. But they'll need a water source. They'll still need to build that slide to get from the treehouse into the pool. And they'll need to make sure that all of that water won't leak out and suck up into the ground. They're going to have to protect the inside as well. Which means a lot more materials and a lot more days of working back and forth. We've got ourselves some leaves, some sticks, and even more bamboo ready for the next phase of the build. What is go He's building lots of small holes in the ground. Wonder why he's doing that. Is that where the poles will go? For the edge of the pool? Or is that the poles for the slot? Dude, look how tall that is. Oh. Maybe that's going to be the foundation. Or part of the foundation for the slide. It's so tall. How on earth are they going to keep that in the ground without it blowing over and while keeping it really, really sturdy? Remember, these pieces are foundational. So important for this build to work perfectly. Look how much they've put up. Oh, my goodness. Whoa. I don't know what their master plan here is with all of this, but they know what they're doing. And I'm so interested to see how this goes from a slide and a pool and connects to the treehouse. Even more connecting everything together with what just looks like pieces of plants, leaves, but obviously super sturdy and super, super strong. Otherwise, they wouldn't be using it. Guys, look what? It's like a roller coaster. You know the foundations for the roller coaster when you build them? These guys have put all of that together and it is looking so much better than even I could have imagined. Now, remember, to build a slide, they're going to have to also... I mean, this is looking fantastic already, but you cannot slide your butt along those pieces of wood because that will be very, very sore. You can see how this is going to come together, but there's so much more they need to do. The cementing. 
The smoothing. The water. Oh my gosh, guys. This is looking so good. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to this channel already, hit it. It's totally free. You could have missed out on watching a video just like this, which is genuinely incredible. These guys are killing it. And another well-deserved break. Keeping themselves watered. Keeping themselves fueled up. They are working so hard. We are over 50 days in right now. Over halfway there. It's looking impressive. But we know what these guys are like. They are perfectionists. They'll want to finish it properly. And it's sturdy enough for them to walk down. Which means they're happy to move on to the next stage. To make it even bigger. Even better. And prepare it for its final form. Looks like the pool is going to need a little bit more. It's like giant pencils being slammed into the ground. Even more reinforcements around the outer edge of the pool. Look, I'm not a primitive builder. But if I was a guessing man, I think they may surround the inside of the pool with a similar kind of effect that they've used with the wood and bamboo to make the slide as well. That way they can go ahead and fill it in and make sure that the water doesn't escape. And it looks like your boy could be right. We're starting to get better at this primitive tool stuff. These guys are the experts. We're just learning and admiring. They know what they're doing. And I can't wait to see them actually use it at the end as well. Oh my, dude. It does, honestly, at this point, does it look like a pool? It looks like a, a pen you'd keep pigs in or, or, or a load of animals. The higher edges will mean it's be even more safe. You can get a little jump off the end of a slide there to land in the water as well. But don't forget, if they, if they went down it right now, you get a saw butt and you would land in no water. These guys still need to fill it with water. They need to make it safe. They need to make it slideable. And uh, if, dude, it's got like an outer layer to it. It's an outer fence to their incredibly hand-built pool. I am loving this. Wonder what he's building this little hole for. This could be the area that they start making some cement. Or the area that they're going to be using to start getting a bit of a water source. Using a lot of the natural resources around. We've got some water here. Yeah, okay, we've got the broken down rock. They're using it as an area to create the substance that will end up creating that layer. That smoother layer in the pool and on the slide. Look at that. Looks like a giant bundle of dung but no it's a lot more important than that oh my god that looks heavy as well oh that is a back workout and a half now the question is is he going to put it on the slide first or is he going to do the inside of the pool looks like we're going to be starting off at the top of the slide wow look at that and whilst he's working on the slide the other guy's going to be working on the pool as well Oh my god, it's looking so much better. Look at the wall! What? To think that we've gone from pieces of bamboo to a literal, like, concrete building being put together here. And look at the depth of that pool! You'd be spending hundreds of thousands, if not millions, to have a pool like that made at home. And these guys have built it with their bare hands using just the natural resources around them. It's so impressive, but not done. Even more materials need to be put together. We've got stairs going in and out. We've got the slide almost complete and the pool looking fantastic. These guys must be happy with themselves, but what are they gonna do next to make it even bigger and better? And where are they gonna get this water from to fill up the pool? Ooh, they're actually getting a second lot of material. This looks a lot muddier. Doesn't have any hay or any grass or any other materials in it. And it could potentially be a second layer. Now, oh, whoa. I guess even that previous level layer wasn't quite smooth enough to go down on. It's another layer. What well, looks like mud, but as we've seen in previous builds, this will make sure that the water doesn't seep through. They're keeping it all in the place they want it to be, on the slide and in the pool. Otherwise, you'd fill it with water, which would take days and days and days. You'd come back, and there'd be no water left. 
We definitely don't want that. Which is why they're putting in this extra measure and making sure it is as perfect as possible. And look at that. You wouldn't believe how much work had gone in. And seeing it from the beginning to this, these guys, they had to prepare so much and know what they're going to be doing. Because if you did one thing wrong or one thing in the wrong order, you're not going to make it right. We're in the forest. What is this guy after? Whoa. He's getting like tree sap. From... From the tree branches. Is that you can use it as pain? Or is he going to use it as a third layer potentially? Oh my gosh. We are painting it as well, people. These guys don't just want it to look cool. They want it to be colorful. They want it to be beautiful. And what's better than painting the pool with a load of natural sap and coloring from the environment around them? The pool's looking bright and colorful. Wonder what color they're going to go for for the slide. Maybe a blue, red, I guess they're dictated by the colors that they've got. Oh, they've got a white here. So using the direct white sap and green for the pool to paint it in to get that much closer to the finishing product. Wait, why do they need... Okay, I think they could be getting plants just to look good. They were like, you know what? It's kind of cool with the slide and the paint and the bamboo. But we want some plants in it. And I gotta admit, plants make everything look happier and better. And these guys are making sure that they've got some at their treehouse slide pool as well. They're joint builders, painters, florists, architects, you name it. These guys can do it and they will make it incredible at the same time. The water! This part is so important. Are they gonna fill it up manually? Yo, those buckets hold a lot of water. What's more important, though, is they need to make sure that each time they come back, that water is staying in there. Because if it gets wet, you never know. It could start to all become moisturized. And all the walls could start falling apart. Everything's been so important so far. But this is the most important step. Will the water stay in? Will the slide work? Has their creation been successful? They've brought their friends over to test it out. What's better than having a slide, a pool, and a treehouse than with friends? Come on in. Let's see if it works. Up the treehouse they go with the candles, the doors, the windows. Down the slide. They are sliding perfectly into the pool. They are having the best time in the world. What an incredible build. Shout out to Tubi unique wildness for this incredible video you can check out more videos on screen here before i disappear quickly click when i'll see you over there